TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Demon Slayer. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. There's a new Demon Slayer. My wife's yeah. been watching that. I'm like, I'm not ready for that. I, I, so I was, she did play it, and I was like, I'm not ready for this. I am not caught up. You can keep watching it. And she was like, all right, get out of here so I can watch it. So tell me about it. Tell us about it. So Demon Slayers have been really cool this time. So basically, the end of uh, the last episode, a big change happened to Nezuko. That big change has the Demon Slayer core terrified. Because basically something demons been trying to do for since for thousands of years, Nezuku can do. And so they're worried that that uh, the main demon guy is going to go after her. While that's happening, they decided they're going to try to, since demons are not having as many appearances as they used to, because uh, basically they believe the demons are preparing for something bigger and so they decided they were going to do some uh, training and they're going to have some Hashiras and former Hashiras start training all the regular people in the core. So uh, they start doing the training and uh, basically uh, our main characters are getting stuck with it too. Uh, Insuke is... He hasn't really been seen as much, unfortunately. Uh, which, that guy is freaking hilarious. <laughs> He's probably the funniest character. And then the electric guy has been kind of not as present prevalent. But basically, they're doing training. And then the, the main character is still recovering he basically in the previous season took out one of the upper demons with another hashira once he's recovered they have him go on and do the training and he's really showing up most of their the members of the core because he's done so much so i i give it a must watch it's definitely worth watching it's not going to be as intense as Entertainment District was. That's probably the best story arc Demon Slayer has for now, is an Entertainment District. Okay. Yeah. Here's my hot take about Demon Slayer. I think it's highly overrated. I'm not saying the animation isn't absolutely phenomenal and mind-blowing. It is. I think it was a huge mistake to kill off Rengoku because he was easily the best, most interesting, phenomenal ha um, Hashuda. Yeah. He was so great, and I think it was a huge mistake that they killed him off. Spoiler alert, but whatever. None of the Hashira since, I have not cared a lick about. I'm like, die. I don't care. In fact, not the next one, the entertainment one, Like I was like, die, dude. I don't care. I hate you. Like You're a jack dude that's way too good looking, and you have three wives. Screw you. I hate you. Like I'm sure in the manga, it's way, he's better, and all of it's way better. In the anime... Didn't I was like, you can die, dude. You can. I was rooting for him to die. I was like, don't care. You killed off my number one dude. Not him, obviously, but they did. And I think that was a huge mistake because they can't, they've never introduced anybody that's at that same level of likability. I don't care. Like, I've kind of emotionally dipped out because, once again, the emotional climax, y you you haven't done it. Like, I want, I want them to, but for that, and, and I need to keep watching, but that's why I think it's just overrated because i've even heard going forward like there's still a lot of the hashiras are not nearly as good as rengoku like personality wise and and like in, in other stuff obviously like skill of probably yeah that's why he died but that I, that was a huge mistake for me but that's just my opinion yeah the one they introduced in the in the sword uh, 
the swordsman village. She she's really cool and likable. Okay. Yeah, it's and you 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 start learning more about them because really even Rengoku you didn't care about him until the train. He just seemed like a cool dude, but that was about it. So it's a matter of just learning more about them. Well, I mean, you have to. I mean, you have to make him a. I mean, he was a. He was a. His backstory was interesting. He was a very like upbeat character. He seemed like he was like, "Hey, I'm going to train you to be better." A lot of them are like they're cocky and they're full of themselves, and I don't like them. And I can kind of understand like, "Oh yeah, I understand why you're cocky because you're super great." But it's like, yeah, but. We've kind of talked about that too. Is like at a certain point, if you're so good, that's why you train people to make them better. You know what I mean? Like, because there's only so high you can go, and that's how you kind of get better is by training people. Thank you for watching, checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Um, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who. Uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings. What do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have 100 items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you. And you're sporting uh, the periodically nerdy shirt. Which is just, it's nerdy. Periodically, yeah. obviously. It's hilarious and brilliant. Which is so fitting for the ambassador. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what? Let's do some shout outs too. I got some shout outs for the peeps. For that, always at the top of the list, we have. Atticus. Atticus. Uh, and then we have, um, which is, he's a YouTuber, and he's just raw and, and, and real, and he's a teacher out in Vietnam, and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's, that's really interesting, really great, you know, what it's like to have relationships with friends, you know, people of the um, r romantic relationships even, people of the opposite gender of your own. Or whatever, and uh, and and it's so cool. I love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful. Like it's it's so cool to see. Uh, M.K. Jekyll and Hyde is another one that is great. Uh, they do comics like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational. So I love their stuff. Uh, Film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time so you don't have to. And uh, Mary May Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime, media, um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Superpower List. Those guys are awesome. Hardcore comic book nerds. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.